Hey everyone, it's Ivan with GetBadger.com here to bring you another gear review and got a couple questions about these guys, these soft shell pants by Triple Lot Design. So we're going to talk about them. Like most of my pieces of gear, I purchased these to essentially fill a void for me. Back in 2010, started contracting, was about to go over to Afghanistan for another deployment in the middle of winter. Really cold, windy. As much as my cotton and nylon pants served me well in the summer, they weren't going to do good for me in the winter. So I started looking around. Unfortunately, the market didn't serve me very well back in 2010. A lot of your major retailers like Outdoor Research, Arcteryx, stuff along those lines, while they did make soft shell pants, they were geared much more towards like alpine mountaineering. Consequently, most of them didn't have belt loops. It was kind of a non-starter, needed to be able to have a belt carry a pistol. The other issue being terrible sizing. For whatever reason in the industry, they're like, you know what? We don't want to make a bunch of different size pants. We're going to have small, medium, large, extra large, which left a lot lacking. So sometime around late 2010, happened to be up in San Francisco, stumbled into the showroom for TAD, Triple Lot Design, and ended up picking up a pair of these soft shell pants. These soft shell pants are made out of this great, durable, somewhat stretchy soft shell material. Up front, you have a YKK zipper, regular button up front, and then you have these two large belt loops up front with these D-rings. These allow you to essentially dummy cord something that you maybe want access to but don't want to lose to include these little slash pockets right up front. These allow you to, especially with dummy cord, throw something in there like a compass, always have access to it and not lose it. Coming around either side, you have the hand pockets, both of which have this reinforced material, allow you to put clips on there, whether they be flashlight pocket knife, not tear this thing up. And then on either thigh, we have a cargo pocket, both using a zipper. And this one on the right thigh as you wear it has a little Velcro patch. Actually came with a cool little glow in the dark TAD logo somewhere on, I think my last trip, caught on a branch going through briars, ripped off, never seen again. Moving down inside, you have a gusseted crotch for your roundhouse kicks. And then both the knees on this model actually offer a Velcro closure that you can open up. And when I originally purchased them, they actually had knee pads that would fit in. I promptly lost them. These soft shell pants have done a great job for me. They pretty much have filled that role. That role being anytime it's going to be cold, wet, windy, anytime I'm not going to want to wear my mountain khaki camber pants, basically. And these definitely don't do as good a job as they used to as far as with water. Like you'll get some water on them, brush it off. It used to almost be like pretty water repellent, but who knows how many times I've washed these to where if you let water sit on them for a minute, they'll end up soaking in. As far as snow and stuff, you can obviously brush that off, no issues whatsoever. They do a pretty good job cutting down on wind as well. Having used these for a number of years now, there's a couple of things I don't care for. One, while I do appreciate the sizing convention as far as 32, 34, stuff like that, it's every other as opposed to every inch. I wear a 33, consequently, on the inside here, you can see where I had these hemmed up. My other issue is they have these nice wide belt loops, which is awesome, right in front. And these actually have seven belt loops, which I'm a huge fan of. Pretty much more the better, especially when gun belt, anything like that. But all their other belt loops are really thin. I feel like they ran into like a bunch of spare fabric laying around like, oh, we'll make some belt loops out of these. So don't care for these thin belt loops. And honestly, as far as pockets go, especially back pockets, the less zippers, the better. I'd rather just have a slash pocket that I could just shove something in, no issues. Again, just kind of nitpicks, having worn these for years. One thing I did like when I first purchased these is they weren't hemmed. They were probably like 40 inches long. I don't know how long they were. They're really long though which was cool because once you purchase them, you go to an alterations place and get them hemmed exactly the length you need. All right, so here's the bad news. Can't buy these anymore. They broke up the band. 
One of the creative leads ended up departing from Triple Lot Design, founded Prometheus Design Works. Awesome company, both make cool, innovative stuff, but you can't get these anymore. Triple Lot Design does make a soft shell pant. It's their Vector SC, made of a symbiote material, four-way stretch, soft shell. As far as the functionality of soft shell, it's all there. Design-wise, totally different. Kind of a much more sleek, kind of low-profile pant. Still has cargo pockets, zippered, but doesn't have some of the other stuff in the design elements of this guy. Bunch of sizes, couple colors. Uh, black, as well as their Deception, kind of a cross between a gray and a green. 28 to, I think, 40 every two inches. Inseams, 30, 32, 34 about 210 bucks. Prometheus Design Works has something really similar as far as design of these pants right here, except they're made out of 50-50 ripstop, not a soft shell. I don't have experience with either one of them. On the one side, you still have a soft shell. On this side, you have all the design elements in this pant right here. Personally, I like these combined, which is this pants, don't have experience with either one of those. Hopefully one of those can maybe fit your needs. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.